Hi all, my name is Lee, welcome to the channel. So I've got a really interesting project for you today, which is quite a good one. I am going to make a six-sided tabletop dice. Uh, the main thing is it's going to be sort of like a luxury dice. It's going to be made of steel uh, with brass dots in it. So let's take a closer look. This is exactly as you'd expect. So the skill here is to make the cube as accurate as possible. So the cube's gonna be made out of steel. I've got a piece of steel here. So somewhere inside here is a 30 millimeter square or cube, I should say. And for the dots, I'm just going to use a piece of brass, which I'll cut down and I'll create the dots out of this and they'll be press fitted into the steel. Then finally, just to make it completely accurate, uh, I'll just cut each of the flat edges on the mill to square everything off and then give it a final polish. So, interesting little project. I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this one. So to start with, we might as well measure this piece of steel up, work out how much we need to start cutting off of the edges and we'll get that sorted now. So the first thing to see, uh, I'm going to make the cube roughly 30 millimeters square. So I just want to work out what sort of diameter this should be before I start cutting it on the mill. Because trying to take all of these flat edges on the mill, there's just too much material to remove. So I'm just going to do this on the lathe and bring it down so it'll be a lot quicker, but I need to leave enough that I can still cut my square out of it. So to start with, if we just measure what I actually do have to play with. So I've got about a millimeter and a half to play with to get to my 30 millimeter square specification I'm trying to reach. And if I have a look at the calculator, it tells me the diameter or the diagonal of the square is actually uh, of a square of 30 millimeters is actually 42.43 millimeters. So I don't wanna to get too accurate to that. What I'll do is I'll cut this down to about 45 millimeters, maybe 44 millimeters, and then I'll do the rest on the milling machine. And then I'll only need to do a couple of passes to get it uh, to accuracy. So let me just double check what the width of this is, the diameter at the moment. So it's roughly 49 and a half millimetres. So I've got to take about five millimetres off of this to start with on the lathe, and then we'll put it in the milling machine and start cutting this square. Okay, so I've just touched off, put the measurements in the drawer. I just need to take a couple of millimetres off of this to bring it down to size before we start milling. Okay, so I've taken it down to 46 millimeters diameter. My target size is 30 millimeters, but I wanna leave a bit of room to finish. So I need to cut both sides, 30 millimeters to 46 millimeters is a 16 millimeter difference. So that's eight mil off either side, but I'm gonna take about seven millimeters off either side uh, and leave myself some room to play with later on to finish squaring. So let's start this off. I've touched off. We've got to go down about seven, six and a half to seven millimeters. So that's the first side done. Next thing to do is just flip it round, use the parallels and take it down uh, the same six and a half millimetres and I'll begin to make my square and then I'll turn it around 90 degrees and do the other two sides. <laughs> Thank you. 
So now I'm doing the other two sides. To set it up, I just need to make sure that's square as well. So I'm just going to make sure that I can line this up with a square. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Now I can do the same thing, six and a half millimeter cuts on either side. So that is a pretty good start. So let's work out how we're gonna get the dots in there. Okay, so that's my basic square made. I've taken it down to just over 31 millimeters. The important thing is, is I've sort of matched it all up. So I've got it within a, a few one hundredths of each other. So that's not bad at all. So what I need to do next is I need to uh, drill out the pattern for each hole. Now on a normal six sided dice, the opposing sides should add up to seven. So it's six and one, five and two, and three and four. So I just need to work out how I'm gonna get a, a nice pattern uh, into here and make sure all of the dots are equally spaced. So I've drawn out my drilling pattern just so I'm absolutely sure what I'm doing. Uh, as I mentioned before, each opposing side of a six sided dice adds up to seven. So one and six, five and two, three and four. But of course, what I wanna work out, just to make it easier and make sure I'm precise with where the dots are, some of them I can actually drill all the way through the block. So the idea being is when I start doing the number five, these two, if I put them all the way through, that will make the two on the other side. So that completes number two and is precisely in the right place. I can also do a similar thing with uh, three and four. So when I drill the number four pattern, the red dots, if I drill all the way through, that will almost complete the three as well. So it just means I'm a little more accurate uh, with the position of the dots around the dice. So now I've measured this up, uh, I'm going to do some calculations and set the draw up on the milling machine and then I'll start drilling these holes out. So I've just done a few calculations just so I can set the draw up correctly. Uh, I've found the edge already on the draw and the work's ready to go, but I just want to make sure I get my spacing right. So the entire cube is 31 millimeters across the edges. So I need to divide 31 into four different uh, spaces. Uh, so that should mean that the first corner dots are 7.75 millimeters in from X and Y. So I'm hoping I've got that right. It should mean that I can work out where all of the dots go. And now I've lined the work up in the vise, uh, I should be able to start drilling. So let's go and make the first cuts. So to save on waste, instead of cutting down the brass rods I already had, I just bought uh, a five millimeter diameter rod. Now, the issue I've got is this is very, very slightly undersized, it seems. So I'm now worried that if I cut a five millimeter hole, the issue I'm then going to have is this may not fit in tightly. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to cut a 4.8 millimeter hole because I have a 4.8 millimeter drill. And then I'm just going to sand this down slightly because I think it's also uneven and not perfectly round. And then I'm going to press fit them in. I was hoping this rod might be very slightly oversized, but unfortunately it's very slightly undersized. So I've lined up to the corner all I need to do now is start drilling these holes. I've put some marker marks on there just to remind me, but there's two of the holes I'm going to put all the way through this. Now I've already checked, the drill should actually just avoid my parallel. Uh, so I'm hoping that's the case. <laughs> uh, otherwise we're gonna have an issue, but uh, I think it should make it okay. So let's get on and start drilling some of these holes. For the non through holes, I'm gonna put them down around five millimeters.
Okay, so the final hole is gonna be eight millimeters for the number one. So I'm gonna make this slightly bigger just so it doesn't look too out of place. And it's a nicer feature. So let's do this final hole. So this next section I'm just going to do manually. I'm going to round off an end and then cut six millimeter sections off of this rod until I've got, uh, I need 20 of them out of this five millimeter rod. Each time I cut a section, I'm just going to round off the edges again, just so I've got a good start for when I press fit it into the square. So here's where we're at so far. I've already pressed the number one in because it was a different size and uh, eight millimeters, it fit perfectly in there. So I just pressed that one in, but now we need to do the same for all of these other dots. So as I was sawing them, I was rounding off each edge. So hopefully these should just line up nicely and then we just press them into the vise. So I've hand pressed the first ones in, they do seem to slot into place. Uh, but the only way we're going to know is to squeeze them in the vise now, so let's go for it. First one in, that worked okay. So that went really well, they're all pressed in nicely. So what I need to do next is this is where I start to finish the cube and try and get it as accurate as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half a millimeter off of each surface uh, and then I'll just uh, do any final passes on the one or two sides just to make it nice and uh, square. And that should also polish up all of the dots. Uh, the very final task to do is I'm going to chamfer all of the edges and hopefully that will smooth out the corners as well. So now I've just set up my V blocks. I'm gonna chamfer all the edges. I'm gonna do them one millimeter in. So I think this is looking great. I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. So it's all the edges been chamfered now. It's nice and smooth with no sharp edges on there. But all I'm gonna do now, just to give it a, a good shine, is a final polish. So let's get the polishing wheel out 
and see if we can shine this up and then complete this project. So I'm really happy how this has turned out. Uh, it's, it's too heavy to use as a real dice, although you could use it. Um, I was going to cut the corners off to make it more rounded, but because it's more just a, an ornament, I thought I'd leave it quite square. Uh, but it looks great. I'm really happy with this. So thanks for watching. If you like this sort of content, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me and gives me the motivation to keep filming it. Uh, because a lot of these projects, it's actually the filming and editing takes longer than the project itself. So it's nice to know if people are enjoying it. But I'm really happy with how this dice has turned out. An ornamental dice, I'm going to put it on the mantelpiece. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. It looks great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.